Metro Transit is putting in the work to make its buses and light rail trains safer. Today, David Schumann tagged along on an outreach detail meant to connect people in need with the right resources. We have housing vouchers. So here's this. I'm Officer Cat. What was your name? This is what outreach looks like for Metro Transit's homeless action team. So were you evicted from your place? We go approach them and ask them how we can help. Sergeant Bev Rodriguez oversees the team of four officers and helped run this special detail Monday at the Brooklyn Center Transit Center. Our success rate is more housing. Since we provide our own voucher program, we've housed over for 350 individuals. So how's that ride for you? Um, it's okay. It's okay. The police are working with community group A Mother's Love, which aims to connect with anyone at a bus station who may need help. Well, we definitely see people that have mental health issues, but we see some other people meeting here to fight. And so being able to engage those young ladies and young men to kind of keep the violence down. In the six months from last September to March, there were 150 calls for police service to this transit center, 24 of those for fights, assaults, drugs, and disorderly conduct. We spoke to a driver who says he feels mostly safe, but hasn't always. I've worked here for three and a half years. I've seen, I've seen a lot of things go down. I've been threatened. I've had my life threatened. Metro Transit's police chief says the buses, like the trains, are a work in progress. As a deterrent, they have a plexiglass shield that keeps them enclosed. Ideally, I would like to get officers on every line when I can to address those issues. David Schumann, WCCO News. The number of officers with the Metro with the Metro's homeless action team have been cut in half in recent years. The sergeant in charge of the team says she's working with the chief to improve staffing.